What's going on everybody? Random Andrew coming at you, not from home. We made a long trip all the way to Paris. Yes, Paris, Ontario. Are you kidding me? We're not crossing the Atlantic. I'll show you the place we come to check out today. Don't mind the shoddy camera work. Paris Junction Hobbies. I recently learned about this place. Friends told me about it. I finally made the trip down here. So let's get on in. And I'll show you what we're here to see. Ooh, not a good day for that front end. But of course, before we go in, we must first mask up and, uh, you know, follow all protocol and safety measures. All right, mask is on, let's go in. Oh, it's starting to snow a little. Yeah, I noticed that. Here we go guys, the first thing you see when you walk in the door. Oh, Traxxas Glory. Look at these beautiful little beasts. Of course your Bronco TRX4. I'm not going to show you every single little thing in here because I want you guys, if you're local, come check them out. And hey, if you like what you see and you're not local, check them out online. I'll make sure I throw all that information down below. In the, below the comment section, above the comment section, wherever it ends up. I'm gonna need me some of that someday soon. Lots of little accessories, lots of fully ready to run kits. And if you don't do ready to run and you like to build, tons of your own build supplies. So you can put together what you want. And there's, Gil, this is some of what you need right here. Yeah. My trucks, well, some of my trucks are in the office there, so. Oh, you want to show the audience your trucks? The Unimog is actually fairly done, but the uh, the others are works in progress. Paris Junction. Of course, this is going to be one of my favorite sections. You guys know how I love the RC four-wheel drive. Tons of TRX four too. Very good, very capable truck. A lot of people right now are getting into it. They're either grabbing up the TRX-4s, the TRX-4 Sport, or, of course, my personal favorite, the Gladiator. Okay, special treat. We'll come back to the shelf stuff in a minute. Do you guys have a look at this guy? That's a wicked display stand for it, too. Scaled right out. You like a, do a patina type thing on that, didn't you? Get yeah, that age some look. of it's actually just natural patina. From Trail patina. <laughs> nice looking happy driver in there. I'd be happy too if I was driving a Unimog. Love the crates. Yeah, they're actually uh, large scale model railroad parts. Laser cut and you just assemble them. Oh, nice. Geez, I got my pulling sled done. You'll have to come out and give her a shot. Ooh, I can't say too much about that in the vlog because uh, the audience doesn't know about that one yet. <laughs> That's beautiful. Definitely looks a lot different than your standard Unimog. Like you can tell you've added a few little pieces to set it aside out and different. Like these aren't standard Mog mirrors, are they? I think they are. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I would really like to change still, that's not, that's actually yeah. off of one of the, uh, the little Atlas 6x6s. <laughs> um, the only thing I'd still like to change is I'd like to put a scale UMG front grille in it. Oh, to get, rather than the axial. Yeah, get away from the axial look. I mean, that's just a matter of going on Tinkercad and <coughs> trying to clone it the best you can. Yeah. Oh, that's quite the beautiful truck, sir. This is... I didn't catch your name, actually. I'm Dave, actually. Dave. He is the well-knowledged expert you want to speak to when you come in here. <laughs> well, within five minutes, you already answered a few of my questions about, uh, I've got some shackle slop on my RC four-wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tackle that one, but uh, no, that's quite the beautiful truck. You'll have to bring her out to uh, Rail City sometime, go on a run with us. Yeah, it's, it doesn't get out as much as I'd like, but uh, Bell City Crawlers, I get out with them once in a blue moon. Awesome. All right, on with the tour. Every connector you could ever need. You guys need battery connectors at all? Pretty good so far, eh? 
balance plugs. Oh, geez, that's something I didn't even think about. And not that guy. This is one I need for my charger at home. I'll look after. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen a few people do this so far. If you're not happy with portals, if you're not a fan of portals, you can actually switch your 10.3 to straight axle and still have it be the AR45s. Builders kits galore. There is absolutely no reason to sit at home being bored when I mean, you can you can get a builder's kit. Keep yourself busy while I keep myself busy for a night. You get the idea. Look at that. Hard body kits. Need a blazer? That's a beautiful blazer. And then they've got this one right here too. Both beautiful. It's your forerunner. That's the problem. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Christmas. Airport arms full. <laughs> and all the goodies, everything you could want. This is the, the good, yummy section of the shop. That I love the most. Anything that you think you need. Accessories, tow chains, tow hooks. I don't know which to point out to you guys first. Oh, I should be pointing that out to G. Yeah, straps, too bad just ordered a chain. Yeah, but see, I try to stay away from the chain because... Yep, they're gonna break. Mine's like that set. Uh... Sorry about your luck. Yep. <laughs> I know, I hear you. But the RC four wheel drive section. Um, oh, I should go grab that kit before somebody moves in on me. All right, one of the reasons I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this. Look how tiny that axle is. That is an alloy housing for the SEX 24. That big SEX 24 is a pretty big hit right now in the RC world. Especially going in the winter and a lot of guys staying indoors, doing the indoor crawl, look at this. You could totally pimp out your 24 here. I'm not even joking. And I mean, considerable for everything that you can do. The prices are pretty dang cool. If I had a 24, I think today I would be buying quite a few extras for it. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I love it. Then your, your wheel weights, all kinds of, man, look at the frame rails you can get for it. That is gorgeous. And it's just simple, but to me, that is actually a beautiful thing. Need a rim selection, pick a color. All kinds of brass weight add-ons too, right? And then we didn't even cover the tires. Just about every kind of tire you can think of. Guys, you, if you're into this hobby, you're in southwestern Ontario, I'm going to tell you right now, it is worth your trip to Paris Junction Hobbies. Alright, so distractions enough. I've got one of these guys. It works great, but I really wouldn't mind making a switch to one of these. But look at that guy right there. And all the wireless controllers, everything you need to set your truck right up. Now, aside from trucks, everything for the build, if you're not even into RCs and you're just doing models, right, you get all the top quality paints in here. Ooh, testers paints are on sale too. I'm tempted to actually restock every all the paints that I need. At real enamel paints too, not easy to come by. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> and then the model kits themselves. I'll just kind of give a quick pan over of the various models. There is some copyright music playing in the background. You know how it is when you go into shops and stores. So I'll do what I can to kind of deal with that. That's the best way to show you guys these. It's a great variety. Like look at the old, the old Ford. What would that be, like an old Mac puzzle? No. Well, I could speculate. You guys could probably yell at me all day and say, no, you're wrong. And then I noticed another big thing that they uh, deal in here is the uh, trains. A lot of train stuff. So it looks like if you're into doing the scale trains, they've got a few different scale 
of it. Quite a bit. Which reminds me, I gotta bring you guys into the Elgin County Railway Museum. They have a giant display, like miniatures, set up. Oh, look at it all. See, that's something else I could probably get into. Maybe when I'm older and can't walk the trails anymore, I'll sit in my basement and play with trains. I could get right into that too, right? The scale. Did you guys check out his Unimog here? It's beautiful. Alrighty. Uh, Warhammer, yes, this is a big following for Warhammer as well. I'm going to take these guys back through and show them the cars once more before I figure out what I'm getting. I can always use another one of those. What? A 112 Jimny, and it comes in a styro box and everything. This is like your uh, Suzuki Samurai. I would love to have a full size samurai. I've drove a couple. I like them. And then there's your Marty McFly Toyota Hilux. And it's the extra cab done in black. It comes with the same bars that Marty would have had. That's pretty cool. Now, I know Trail Finder didn't do that, you know, for Back to the Future, but it was a sick look for the truck. And Marty, of course, was going to get the sickest looking version. There's a 10-3 Ford Bronco. Your Red Cats. Scout 2. And Marlin. So I have this truck at home. RC four wheel drive really built a nice truck when they did the Marlin. And if you're not familiar, check out on YouTube, just type Marlin Crawler. And there's some amazing stuff being done. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. These are the ratios I was actually just talking about on our way up here. <laughs> Hours per mile. That's crazy. And of course, I didn't even mention the planes. They've got uh, some nice RC planes. Drones. Drones. You'll find drones everywhere. We won't even get into drones. But. I always have appreciation for the planes as some of my longtime viewers know. I've told you guys before and shown you actually one of them. I used to fly nitro planes with my father back in the late 90s. So I learned quite a bit about flying the scale planes, maintenance for them. And electric nowadays would be so much easier. Here's some of the kits they've got here. These would be all ready to fly. pretty wild and well guys I think I've shown you just about everything that I'm willing to show you without you coming in and seeing all this awesomeness for yourselves okay so if you're in the area go Paris Ontario if you got to google it to find your way there it's not a far trip at all Paris Ontario Paris Junction Hobbies come check it out amazing store Everything you could want. I could spend all day in here. Go, I need this, I need this. Thanks for watching, guys. Go over to their Facebook. Their social medias will be listed below. Give it a click. Go give them a follow. It's worth your time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to click share, like, all that good stuff. We'll see you later.